everybody. So, today, I'm going to be talking about my experience to the trailers and how it affected my life and my movie experience. So, let's get on with trailer one. So, we have... At the beginning of the saga of King of the Monsters, or whatever it's called, at the beginning of the thing, sometimes I really don't know what I'm talking about, um, but what I should say is, at the beginning of King of the Monsters, or at least at the beginning of what we can say is King of the Monsters, until the actual movie came out. Which, at the beginning, at the beginning trailer, whenever I first saw it, I didn't really think anything of it. I thought it was just a fan flick to try and get people hyped for something, but I, I didn't really fall for it. But, but then, I started to realize it was the fan, it was, it wasn't, it was, I started to realize it was more than a fan made trailer when all the merchandise came out. There was SH Monster Arts trailer, there was SH Monster Arts Tokyo Comic Con, and there was also Jack Pacific Toys in, there was also Jack Pacific Toys in production. And then I realized, is this, if this is a fan-made trailer, what is with all the things? And then, and then I started to realize it was real whenever someone, it, one of my friends in Roblox started talking about it in my, in, in a Roblox ro Godzilla roleplay. She was talking about stuff that was in the trailer, and I couldn't really type back then, so I didn't really say much. I didn't know how to spell things. So, yeah, that's my merchandise and Roblox talk experience. We have, and now we have trailer two. Before I, I watched trailer two, I went back and whenever whenever my brother Joey was at the house, I looked back to see if this was actually true. And the first trailer was actually true. But then trailer two came out. And that's when I started to be suspicious. If someone had a fan made thing, how do they have all this how do they ha have all the the right people to do the dialogue? Because they have to get them from somewhere. But then, whenever I saw Trailer 2, I realized this is actually a real thing. And whenever Ghidorah shot his laser into the building, I started, I started running around the room rapidly in hype. And then I came back to... to... To Godzilla and Ghidorah charging each other. And while I was running around, I I missed the slightest thing. A burning building monster. I'll get to him later. But we also have two crustacean... We have a crustacean kaiju. Or a titan, I should say. We have a crustacean titan. And what I originally thought was Angiris. Now I originally thought that these titans were Angiris and Kumonga. But if it was Angiris and Kumonga, well, Angiris would make sense underground. But why the heck is Kumonga underground? So that's when I began to be suspicious about who these monsters were. And then we had the TV spots. Oh boy, this got me hyped. 
when at January, February, and all the way up to March, I started to feel hype everywhere. Whenever I go to to my parkour place, I whenever I arrive there, the sky is always very bright and majestic as the sun sets. And I and I always felt the and I always felt that the beautiful sky right after I saw the TV spots, but that's not important right now. We're talking about the TV spots specifically. Not my parkour experience. And so um the first the first TV spot. I started to think of I saw a breakdown of this and I and I didn't really think anything of it until until there was a scene where there was new scenes of Rodan coming out of the volcano. He was grabbing the thing with his claw and there was a face of a mo of the mountain monster. And I just figured that this is something I missed from the second trailer. So I went back to the second trailer. I typed in Godzilla 2019. And to my surprise, I found the actual TV spot. So, yeah. And then we had the Intimidation trailer. Oh, Intimidation is what started it all. Intimidation... We got a bunch of new scenes, especially when the, all three heads were blasting beams at the ground, and I'm not going to go through all of these because I, w I want you guys to see the actual thing before I talk any more about it. And, um, there was also, in the first TV spot, there was also Rodan versus Ghidorah, which that also got me kind of hyped as well. And there was a continuation of it in the second TV spot. And there was another continuation of it in Trailer 3, a.k.a. Beautiful. And when I say beautiful, I literally mean Beautiful. Fun fact, I just went back and watched this trailer earlier today. And and in this trailer, there's a bunch of new scenes. Again, no spoilers. I'm just talking about my experience. So uh and then I want and then the and then there was a WonderCon Fire Godzilla leak. Yeah, you heard me right. I started to feel hype whenever I started to hear that this was probably burning Godzilla. That fire creature from the second trailer. But then... I started seeing breakdown videos of a supposed five minute trailer at Tokyo Comic Con or something at an IMAX place. I didn't really get there to see it because I didn't even hear about it. But someone actually got footage of it and Fire Godzilla, aka Burning Godzilla. I say it the correct way. And the fire Godzilla, he was roaring. And yeah. <coughs> that was kind of the final scene. But there was also a scene of Rodan vs. Mothra, which also kind of got me hyped as well. But there was also a... A, uh, what's it called? A Japanese trailer for Godzilla King of the Monsters, which had Fire Godzilla in it, and Rodan vs. Mothra. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys. I'm just telling you.
and I have it saved in my watch later list. I'm just giving you a little spoiler thing right here. Um, Japanese singer's spoiler. And there was this, Jack Pacific Godzilla 2019 toys. Me and my dad went to Walmart on a Sunday, or a Saturday, I don't really remember. But on April, we went there to see if it was there. And um, and for a second, I thought they didn't have them yet. But it turns out that the toys were actually in the aisle next to them. And I did get the Ghidorah and Rodan pack. But there was no Fire Godzilla and Mothra. Sadly. But it's fine because I was fine with the two other Godzillas that I already have. But I still wanted that beautiful Mothra and Fire Godzilla toy. And fun fact, this Fire Godzilla toy was also a part of the leak. And so then we have final trailer slash trailer four. This is where the hype started to flow through me. I was talking to my parkour coach, and I, we were talking about different stuff until I and until I realized, hey, the final trailer came out. I can tell him about this. Then I told him about the final trailer, and he said I saw it, but I didn't watch it. And then. Knock you out TV spot slash fire Godzilla leak hashtag two and they re they revealed a fire Godzilla shot to the public with him do with him bending over and showing his atomic scales light up with blue and orange. And now, what you've all been waiting for, theater experience. Now, I'm not going to talk about all of it. I'm just saying that I, there was a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of Titans. I'm not going to say what their designs are. I'm just going to tell you the names. Behemoth, Scylla, Methuselah, and Muto Prime. You probably already know Muto Prime is. Now don't go into the comments and correct me for saying Muto Prime. I'm just... I just like to think it's Muto Prime. Because new female Muto is just... Is just a stupid name. And, uh... Now, we have... Biden Godzilla on YouTube and TV app. Now this is where I started to realize that Godzilla is more than just a a movie. He is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. It's just such hype. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's just I can't control it. It's just, it's awesome to see a new Godzilla come out. Now I'm going to be waiting for Godzilla vs. Kong to come out. And I'm going to break that down when the movie comes out. And so, yes. And so, we are going to continue this in 2020, perhaps, when Godzilla vs. Kong comes out. So anyway, bye!